I move from my heart, and when I start a project or a series of ideas, and something inside me sparks and holds my interest, then I know I'm on the right path. Actually, what kind of appeals is this kind of maybe dividing thing? The mosaic surfboards uh, really feeds me as an artist because I'm blending something that had some sort of life before with somebody else that had a lot of passion for the sea, for their sport, for their appreciation for what they do as an individual. And um, what I want to kind of infuse in that board is, is, is kind of a, a shrine for them to look at and remember their times that they had. And even beyond that, there's that, um, that person that made the board, the shaper that figured out how that board is going to be the vehicle for the surfer. From my standpoint, I think a board is uh, not only a piece of craftsmanship and uh, a hydrofoil for writing, but it really is a work of art. So when I uh, heard and then saw some of the boards that Shory was working on, uh, I was extremely excited about this idea of being able to um, give a secondary life to this um, old lover of mine, as it were, in this board. And I'm excited not only about reliving some memories by having this new board up on my wall in my house, um, but also having this entirely new um, secondary life where it will have its own significance as a work of art. What I love about Sherry's surfboards is that they make you feel good. I mean, it's art that is uplifting and, you know, I look at it and I see the colors and I see the wave patterns and it makes me think about the ocean and being in the water. You know, I love having it in the store because not only does it draw people's eye and draw them into the store, but then they usually come in and they're smiling. I come up with the designs first based on the board itself. I get the board, I get some history behind it. I take them through a series of questions and learn the history about what the board meant to them, why they surf. Uh, I just get a little more of the story. Then I want to find out what their aesthetics are, what, what colors do they like, what shapes and forms do they like, so I can co incorporate that on the board. We could start like with a band of different greens going out to purples mm -hmm. and maybe some yellow and red bright on the ends. I love how the board came out. It was a great experience to spend some time with Sherry, the artist, and talk to her about myself, about the board and its history and what I like to do surfing and beyond surfing. And together we picked out pieces and colors and put them all together and uh, the board tells a story. Oh my gosh, Sherry, <laughs> it is so amazing. It is more amazing than I could have ever imagined. People who know me see me in it because of the colors and the different uh, designs that, that Sherry actually was able to get from our conversation and put on the board. What's really exciting about making the boards is that the board itself is pretty durable. I mean, it's very long lasting. It, it's, it's made of foam and fiberglass itself. And then to add the glass that's almost uh, impermeable and, and long lasting um, on top of it, you, you create this structure that is going to have a lot of life. The mosaic surfboards can be displayed many different ways. Um, primarily, I started with the garden in a vertical stand position so they can be tall sentinels in the yard. But then um, I thought about putting them horizontally. You can put them inside of your home uh, in a gallery on an outdoor wall, vertical or horizontal. Uh, there's many different public art spaces that could um, present them well. They're durable and they they would last a long time in indoor or outdoor spaces, so they can go in a multitude of areas.